There is a story which for the last 100 years has pulled at the heartstrings of millions. It is a story of the Titanic shipwreck. In his My Ohio series, Leon Bibb looks at the exhibit of Titanic artifacts in Cleveland and talks with the descendant of a Cleveland man who sank with the ship in 1912. The true story of the sinking of the passenger ship Titanic has everything in it. Money, class, arrogance, loss, and mystery. And now artifacts brought from the ocean's floor. Heralded as the then high point of shipbuilding, yet flawed from the beginning, although no one fully realized it at the time, Titanic was viewed as indestructible, unsinkable, although it sank, further doomed by too few lifeboats for all 2,200 aboard. More than a hundred years later, Titanic still holds us, calling us to its watery grave, where it has rested in eerie silence since 1912. Titanic is a fantastic opportunity to really understand this uh, amazing moment in our history of technology and the history of society, uh, to see what happens when we reach so high and the extraordinary things we've learned from that. Kirsten Ellenbogen of the Great Lakes Science Center helps breathe life into Titanic's world through the center's Titanic Artifacts exhibit. Nearly 300 items retrieved from the ship's wreckage Adding to Titanic's lure is a recreation of parts of the ship itself. Boarding the Titanic, we really try to pull you into that feeling. In April 1912, Titanic left England, steaming for New York, its first-class passengers basking in splendid luxury. At the exhibit are actors representing real passengers. We have the ladies' reading room and the men's smoking room. Of course, I'm still a bit disgruntled that we're separated. But days out, Titanic hits an iceberg, sinking the ship, taking 1,500 passengers to the bottom. Many decades later, Titanic's wreckage is found. On exhibit are some artifacts pulled from the seafloor. The exhibit is haunting, photographed faces of passengers who will be doomed, peer at us. In the exhibit passageway is an actor portraying the only black passenger, Joseph Philippe La Roche. What happens when you reach New York? What's going to happen? Oh, we're going to board another ship and go straight to Haiti. The exhibit includes a wall of ice representing the iceberg and a piece of Titanic's hull asking for human touch again. I am now touching the Titanic. Leon, it's an extraordinary feeling. It's, you can feel the metal, you can see where the rivets were. For Clevelander Chuck Otter, Titanic is more than a shipwreck. It is bloodline. His great-grandfather, Richard Otter of Cleveland, sailed Titanic. Richard was a stone cutter bound for home and his wife and child. Because there were not enough lifeboats, Richard had no way out. His great-grandson follows wake of a lost ship and trail of a lost ancestor. Uh, so when I look at the artifacts, I often wonder, you know, did, is this his or it could have been his? He could have stayed in a room along these lines, That's right? That's correct. This is a recreation of the engine room of Titanic. When the great ship hit that iceberg that night, the engine room became darker than it is in this recreation right here. In 1999, on a trip to the ocean's floor at the Titanic shipwreck site, pieces of coal were brought up from the engine room. This is one of the pieces of coal. It belongs to Chuck Otter. This piece of Titanic coal represents not only the great ship which went down, but the great grandfather who was lost at sea. I'm sure he put his life jacket on like everyone else and made it up to the top deck to try to get into a lifeboat. And of course it was women and children only and uh, he stayed back. Storylines of Titanic intersect at Cleveland's Great Lakes Science Center's exhibit, Ships Parts passengers' possessions on display. A riveting story long in memory because Titanic touches something in us. Touted as grandest ship afloat, said to be unsinkable, it sank with only 700 of its 2,200 passengers living to tell their Titanic story. Also the Great Lake Science Center at East 9th Street within sight of Lake Erie is the IMAX Theater featuring Titanica, which through its movie cameras will take you to the resting place of the shipwreck Titanic. A story of romance on the high seas and of overconfidence of those who believed the ship could not sink. The Science Center presents a tale of Titanic size. Live on 5 in my Ohio, I'm Leon Bibb.